So some kind of a soft The project was to try and take an image of the sky and show what the real representation in space is to someone who can't see. There are lots of different kinds of 3D printers, but the most common inexpensive one right now is one that takes heavy line of plastic. And it's like a, a miniature glue gun. It comes out as a very tiny strand, and it builds it up one layer at a time. And each layer takes five passes just to do one millimeter. So to print out one of our layers, both halves takes 13 hours. You don't want to do things too many times, you know, in order to get that right. What the printer wants to see is a file that describes the surface as a bunch of triangles. We didn't realize it, but the printer programs can only handle so many triangles in the objects they're printing. And we were giving it too many triangles, and so it was failing to print. We had to experiment and find exactly how much detail we could give the program before it failed. We tried printing these things horizontally, and that didn't work very well at all. And what doesn't work is if it has to start and stop these little strands, it comes out very rough and raggedy. And so the best way for it to work is to keep it going continuously rather than starting and stopping it. it turned out printing it vertically worked much better. I'm quite happy with what's what's come out of it. Which is the brightest part that you can find? It's helping people that otherwise wouldn't be able to see what we're working on. Oh, that's so neat. And here was a chance to actually play with 3D printers and learn something about them firsthand. For all those reasons, it was a, an interesting project to get involved in.